So I'm spending some time in my sewing room, but I am not sewing. I'm actually trying to decide what I want to make next, and I have a pattern in mind. It is a vintage pattern. It is Simplicity 7795. I have had this pattern for so long. I bought it online, and the, the envelope is pretty beat up. But the pattern inside was just fine. I read through all the directions and everything, and all the pieces were there. But yeah, this is a 1970-something, 76 or something like that pattern. And I keep eyeballing it, and so I'm thinking, oh, I think I might make this. So I think I am really interested in the green pattern or the green look or version or view. And I actually think it would be really cute in denim. Of course, you know I love denim if you've been watching my channel and I love jumpsuits. So I think this would be really cute in denim. But I would definitely have to make a muslin first just you know to see if there are any issues with fit normally when i make pants my biggest issue is in the crotch area a lot of times the crotch comes out really long and then sometimes i i have a little gaping in the back at the waistband although this one doesn't have a waistband it's actually all one piece so yeah if you can't see that i may put a closer picture up but but yeah that's how the back looks so anyway and while I was in here going through everything, I was looking through my drawers and I realized that my last drawer is kind of like a junk drawer and I really need to get it organized. So I was looking and I saw all of my um, interfacing and I just have it balled up and stuck in here. And I was like, this is ridiculous. I actually need to find a better way to store my interfacing i was thinking maybe i could you know unfold everything and then maybe drape it over some hangers and hang it up in my closet that may be an option i know some people i believe they just take the bolt that the interfacing comes on and they keep it wound around the bolt the cardboard i don't have one of those so yeah what do you guys do or do you just fold it up nicely unlike i did you just fold it up and just you know keep it somewhere nice but I need to figure out something one way or the other so yeah if you don't mind telling me how do you keep up with your interfacing so today I will be showing you a day at the beach so I'm excited I plan to wear a sewing make and what I'm planning to wear is something I've already showed before on my video, but it's just something that I wanted to wear um, while I was out. So I will be sharing that with you. And then I will also share with you a sewing make. Something. We'll see. And let's see. Oh, I want to give you a sewing machine update. So if you watched my last video, I talked about how I took my machine in to get repaired because it had a little crack in the plastic covering. And the guy told me it would be four weeks approximately before I could get my machine back. He called me the next day to give me an update and he said that they actually had the machine or the part that I needed. They actually had it in stock and I guess he, did, he wasn't aware of it, I guess, when he first gave me the estimate is so noisy this little the instruction to probably get rid of it sorry for the noise but yeah he was telling me that they actually have the part in stock and so he called and said that I will probably get my machine back a lot sooner than four weeks which was my hope anyway so yes that is my update and I will go ahead and share with you a day at the beach and then do the sewing make. And yeah, let's go have some fun.
like tents all over the sand. It looks really pretty though. So many people out here today. Such a beautiful beach. See all the tents? They go on and on and on. I wore my sand, my flip flops. So pretty. So we're gonna go and indulge and find something to do here on the beach. It's been so long since I've been to a beach and got my feet wet. So let's see if it's cold. It is cold. For the record, it is cold. It was a good time and I actually enjoyed putting my feet in the water but the water was super cold and I kept looking at the people in the water and I was thinking I do not know how they are doing it because the water was just freezing but anyway I am back at home and now I want to share with you my sewing mate so the vintage jumpsuit pattern that I shared earlier in the video is what I actually made so that pattern again is simplicity 7795 and it is a pattern from 1976 now I just wanted to just get a good idea of what the fit was like so I just decided to make a muslin so I went to Walmart and I did not purchase the full amount of fabric that was recommended on the pattern because I knew I wanted to use some of the, fa the fabric and notions that I already had at home in my stash. So I knew that I had some faux suede and I had zippers already. The, fa the pattern does call for a front centered zipper. Now my front centered zipper, the one that I had in my stash that was 22 inches long was cream colored kind of like off-white so I did use that so the front yoke shoulder area is the full suede and then the front zipper is a cream color so when you see that you'll see you'll know why there is the difference so what I did was I made view 2 which was the one in green but I used the sleeves from view 1 okay now as far as the features there aren't a whole lot. There are front darts, and then there are quite a few things that I left off the pattern. So the pattern does call for front collar tabs. They kind of, I think you fold them over and snap them down or something like that. Well, I chose to leave the front collar tabs off, 
there are front pockets that also have little tabs I just did not put any pockets at all I just wanted to kind of create this as a bare bones just to kind of get an idea of what the garment will look like so that I can make it up again in denim that's my plan so the pattern did call for front facings but I found that you didn't even need them, so I just eliminated the front facing altogether. As far as the hem, I did do a one and a half inch hem. So those are all the things that I did differently. So I actually enjoyed sewing this jumpsuit. It was really easy to put together and you know, everything was like one big piece and then you just put the two big pieces together. So it really wasn't hard at all. And the garment can be worn with the zipper. Well, not the zipper, the collar can be folded over and then you can zip it up or you can zip it down a little bit and flip the collar down and wear it open or you can wear it fully closed. I prefer to wear it open. So I will show you what the garment looks like on and then you'll get to see what it looks like fully zipped up and also with it unzipped just a little bit. So now I want to leave you with a love share. So typically, commercial bread is baked and delivered fresh to stores five days a week. The plastic ties and plastic tabs on bread indicate when bread was baked. I will show you a little chart. So as shown above, if baked on Monday, there will be a blue tag on the bread and so on down the chart. Now, there may be some differences in color coding from bakery to brands, but color coding is widely used in many commercial bread bakeries across the country. I thought that was so, so interesting. You see the little tabs on there all the time, but I had no idea that they had a purpose. <laughs>